On the U10, after three years of campaigning, a group of upstate volunteers one step closer to creating a memorial park to honor the legacy of a lesser-known division in World War I. A pretty neat story here. Fox Challenge's Lex Erbach shows us how the past is continuing to shape Greenville County's present. This is where the trench warfare training was. We didn't even have enough weaponry to properly train. Many of our soldiers were working with wooden guns. What is now an abandoned golf course in Taylor's was once a training camp for soldiers from the southeast in World War I. This is an early rendering of Camp Severe when it was formed. Camp Severe started at the base of Paris Mountain, covering nearly 2,000 acres. They came here, they built the camp, they endured a horrible winter and summer, and then they trained for trench warfare, which was a new thing in World War I. Now in their own fight, Brenda Buchik, Meg Hunt, and Jan Willis are working to preserve this piece of land to pay tribute to the troops who so bravely served. They're still here, even though they aren't here, and we should recognize it, and many people in Greenville don't know anything about it. In 1918, things weren't going so well for the Allies. The Germans had a stronghold in Belgium at the Hindenburg Line. And while most troops turned away, the 30th Infantry Division from Camp Severe pushed forward. And they just said, we're not going back. And they pushed and they pushed and they broke through. What was learned here at Camp Severe for the 30th Division truly helped change the course of history. This marker on Wade Hampton Boulevard, along with another small one on Pine Knoll Drive, are some of the only monuments dedicated to the soldiers who trained at Camp Severe and helped shape World War I, something these upstate volunteers are trying to change. We are here. This piece of land is the subject property that we're trying to obtain. 24 acres in Taylor's, could soon become a memorial park in honor of those who served and helped spark Greenville's growth. Rutherford Road was one of the first paved roads in Greenville County, and that was because of Camp Severe. Camp Severe also propelling the start of a popular product. Eugenia Duke made sandwiches for the soldiers, and that was the start of her business for Duke's mayonnaise. The committee, which formed three years ago, hoping their efforts in the present will honor the impact of the past. Were it not for the bravery and the sacrifice of the young men who came from training at Camp Severe, things could have turned out very differently at the end of World War I. Alexa Erbach, Fox Carolina News. Now the committee says they should know by the end of the week if the land's developer will sell the 24 acres. If you'd like to learn more, just go ahead to our website, foxcarolina.com.